I thought it was funny how Biden kept saying that it was Trump's recession because he closed because he did the shutdowns, but then he was giving him shit for not doing shutdowns, which I think is part and parcel to the whole left right now. Is it's like you're damned if you do and damned if you don't because you're not fitting their narrative. Uh, like considering uh, travel to China, how Trump uh, closed off travel to China well, on January twenty ninth. Yeah, he brought that up, and Trump actually said he's like, you would have waited months. And I think this is true. Absolutely true. I totally agree with Trump. If they closed it at all, which, yes, they are that stupid. Uh, well, I mean, Biden has, you know, a lot of friends in China, you know. <laughs> and so, the Ukraine. Yeah, and the Ukraine. And uh, so I'm gonna, and his son, Hunter, has I'm, uh, friends I'm in gonna Moscow. Skip, I'm going to skip ahead to the whole Ukraine thing because when that went down, I will never forget. I usually don't read, uh, like, a physical newspaper. I'll read articles online. I was in a Starbucks. And I was waiting. And there was a USA Today. And I'm just thumbing through it. On page six, there's this little blurb about how Hunter Biden is going to work for the largest natural gas company in the Ukraine. Right after we get into a tiff with Russia over calling in their debts for natural gas being sold to the Ukraine. Oh, yeah. Coincidence? At no. And this is just after the United States just happens to become the largest exporter of natural gas in the world, which was great. I find it more than a little suspect that the son of the sitting vice president becomes head of an international company that deals in natural gas for a country that is at odds with arguably our largest... I don't even know how you would say that. I don't want to say adversary because that implies that we're hostile, but I, our biggest rival, I guess, on yeah. the world stage in every facet and has been since the 50s at the very least. Antagonist? Maybe. <laughs> antagonist no, has an, antagonist yeah, no. isn't negative, but it has a negative connotation. But I just find that more than a little suspect. And to say that that's a potential conflict of interest is Oops. obvious. And But I, I knew it was going to disappear. But then it came roaring back. Do I think he got money? You're damn right I think he got money. Do I think he spent it on illegal hookers? You're damn right I think he did. Do you think he spent it on cocaine? Yep. Do you know what put that all in the limelight? Was uh, Biden saying that yes. on, on public television. Yep. Saying, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I told him. I said, if you don't fire that guy by the end of the day, yep. you ain't getting the money. Yep. What do you call that? That's a quid quo pro? Quid pro quo. Quid pro oh, quo. Oh, I remember that when the whole impeachment thing was going on. I was like, because that was recorded, and that sounds like a quid pro quo to me. I was like, that is legit a quid pro quo. I'm yeah. like, are you are you kidding me? And his son was president of a company in the Ukraine. That he had no that previous... Owes, that owes the Russian government an obscene amount of money for natural gas. Well, did you hear Did you hear? Uh, just recently uh, Hunter Biden uh, apparently received – I don't know if it's true or not. It's speculation. It's, it's been unsubstantiated. $3.5 million, million dollars from, from Moscow. Moscow. Yeah. And it's like, dude, come on. Are you, are you kidding me? Like, I don't – now, at that, I don't at, discredit it at this with point, everything going on. At this point, it's a legend. But the wire, there was a wire transfer. Yep. And I love how Biden, just before even letting Trump finish the sentence, goes, that's been, that's been, uh, what did he say? That's been, he said, he said that's been refuted or that's been, you know. It's the, like, the, no, no, it hasn't. It's like, no, it's actually still under investigation. Exactly. You know, and uh, even uh, speaking of uh, investigation, Obama is uh, his uh, administration is under investigation for the uh, spying of uh, spying on uh, Trump uh, campaign. Trump campaign, yep. and that's and that's should. like f- that's that's it's it's knowledge. They yeah. know it, and it's like it, why they has were found out? It's like wh- how is that allowed? Like they they think it's that, not allowed. Well, I think they're Russian assets, so we have to spy on them. It's like do well, you... that's the problem when you have legislation like the Patriot Act. I don't know. Because now all you have to do... uh, Joe Stein got illegally detained for... uh, I'm trying to remember how long it was. I mean, hours. Because she was trying to get... She was trying to get into the DNC. And she was illegally detained. Like, people on her staff said she was actually dragged into a van and driven away. I don't know if that's true. But that's what they were saying. I'm pretty sure she'd be in some Uh, some type of therapy if that happened. 
Well, that yeah, shit's, that shit's I, I, I'd agree with that. I'd agree with that. That that would be a pretty terrifying thing. But she was detained. They they admit that, but they say it was a national security thing. It's like, you know who she is. Like it was common knowledge. Yeah, right. Especially in the political world, you know who Jill Stein is. Is she a little crazy? Maybe, but she's not going to hurt anybody. 